but the Bible says, judge not, lest you be judged. Right. So it's not really actually telling you that it's like you can't judge people. But it's telling you, mm -hmm. when you judge somebody, yeah. be ready for it to come back to you. Yeah? So that's why it's so important that you are mindful of the things that you say in the way that you try to correct people, in the way that you try to come to people. Make sure you look in that mirror real quick. Real quick and ask the Lord, am I in alignment to say that to this sister? Because sometimes we can get really zealous about our relationship with God. And that's exciting. Like when you first become, you know, one with God or you get into a new encounter with God, you feel at your greatest strength. Anybody else can testify about that? Like, okay, this is new. I'm so excited. I'm ready to tell everybody about it. There's nothing wrong with that at all. But the Bible also talks about being quick to teach. That's good. Because when you are quick to try to talk about the things of God and tell other people, know that the Lord is now holding you to a greater standard. Yes. Yes. So count it not strange that your pastor or your leaders are trying to spare you from some things. Because some of you may feel like, I'm anointed. I'm ready for this. I can do this. I can preach. I can prophesy. I can pray. But you gotta wait. God's timing is everything. Everything. I would rather be in God's timing than mine. Yes. I would rather obey God when He tells me to go than to tell, than to release myself to go. Because when you release yourself to go, you are releasing yourself without a covering. Can I talk to you about covering? One thing that society has come really common with, and I, and I blame social media on everything, but again, I really do love social media, guys. I used to want to be a news reporter when I was younger, and I used to do videos. <laughs> My mom literally, like, I don't know if y'all know iCarly, but like, that's me. <laughs> My mom like had this camcorder and she used to like record everything like y'all she still has like stuff today and I was really insane but she would record me all the time I'm just on there talking I was like wow that was actually crazy she actually has a video of me preaching when I was little could not believe that I did that absolutely insane um anyways yeah mom brain where was I at Thank you. If you do not have kids, y'all, I used to have the best memory. Everybody relied on my memory for everything. Now we all in trouble. White, black, SOS, somebody saved my whole family. <laughs> I don't remember anything anymore. But I do want to tell you that there is so much power in a covering. Because um, today in these days, we have come, become so common to the point that we feel like our leaders are on the same level as us. I'm not saying that leaders are not people just like you. But what I am saying is that if you are not respectful of the covering that is on your life, it's almost like you just don't have one. How can we hear the word of the Lord except by way of having a preacher? Society will tell you you don't need one. Society will tell you you can get on YouTube. You can watch Bishop Jakes at home. Society will actually tell you that because society knows the power in community. Yeah, that's it. Society actually knows the power in where two or three are gathered together in his name. There he shall also be in that midst. And I'm just thankful that there are way more than two or three. So we know God's in the room tonight. And we can push me. Tamaya, I don't know, when I came in the room and I looked down, I saw you in the spirit. It was almost like you were running from something. I'm not sure of your past or where you were trying to go. 
for what you are trying to do, who you are trying to become. But I want to tell you tonight that the Lord says that there is grace for you, and there is a call of God on your life, and the pressure that you've been feeling has been gone all this time. And you know, many times a lot of us may not know all the things that God is trying to do. A lot of us may, be not, may not be as accustomed to the will of the Lord as everybody else. But I want to tell you tonight that as you tap into who you are in God, he's getting ready to drop a lot of things off of you. When I talked about relationships, I thought about you. Because there are some relationships that have served you no good. And then I even see some that you think are good for you. But behind your back is a whole different story. And I want to speak to the betrayal. The reoccurring betrayals. Where you always feel like you're left in the dark. You're, you're the one left with the broken pieces and everybody else is moving on. I want to tell you tonight that God had you in that place because he's getting ready to get glory out of you. Oh, <laughs> your hand working for healing. That your story is going to heal so many women and girls. I see you empowering women and girls. And that it will actually become like an enterprise for you. Come on. That that will actually be, your ministry will be your job. Mm -hmm. That you won't struggle, money won't be hard for you. Yeah. Jesus. Money will be easy for you. You will be able to speak it and it will come easily wow. for you. Can we just thank God? Yeah. Well, we have to go yeah, I want to tell you tonight that when I see you walk into the room, that you cannot run from the call of God on you. You and I both know that there's a call of God on your life. And I want to tell you that there's a void in the place that you left. There's a void and there's a need of your voice. And the longer you wait, the more souls. Because let me tell you one thing about us not obeying the call of God in our life. And I'm not saying this to show you. You and I both know ministry. But when we are not quick to obey the Lord, not only are we just not obeying him, but there are so many souls yeah. that are connected yeah. to our call. Mm -hmm. That's like if I didn't come tonight, mm -hmm. we wouldn't even be in this room. So when God is calling you to a thing, you never know what it's going to open up. You never know what avenue and what doors it's going to open up. But the teaching, the teaching that you will do, because I know you will do it, the teaching that you will do will be so rich that people will pay for your courses. I know that it's difficult and I know that it may not be something that sounds very interesting right now but as the days go on I want to speak to your heart because I, I see her Dr. Cynthia can you lay your hands on her shoulder are you okay with that I want to speak to the hurt that has happened in the past that has caused you to be like you have that stony heart to the point that you don't want to do it anymore because people play with you. I want to speak to that tonight and tell you that the Lord is getting ready to make your heart live again. And as your heart begins to live, I see a healing on your family. I don't know anything about your family. I don't know Lauren and we talk about great stuff. <laughs> but I want to tell you that your voice and your heart is connected to where your family is going. Can we just give God a praise for that?
But I want to encourage all of you tonight, again, about the importance of obeying God and walking with the Father every single day. Don't get sidetracked. Every day, make it a part of your morning routine. I don't even like listening to music, but I've made it a part of getting up in the morning and listening to at least one worship song. Because it gets your heart right. That's right. And it sets the tone for where you're going. Amen. When you can listen to that and hear that, it takes away every part of you that's not like God. Because how can you wake up mad in the morning and listen right. to worship? Right. You mad you gotta wake up. Go ahead and turn that music on for me. <laughs> <laughs> 